Thank you so much, uh, Representative Maloney and uh, Ranking Member Waters, uh, for providing me this opportunity to speak about the critical importance of the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, the CFPB. Mr. Speaker, during the recession, Nevada was ground zero for the housing crisis. For five years, Nevada led the nation in closures. In 2010, 70 percent of Nevada homeowners were underwater on their homes. And I repeat, 70 percent of Nevada homeowners were underwater on their homes. I saw firsthand, I saw family, friends, neighbors, and constituents who lost their homes because of big banks and unscrupulous mortgage lenders. While Nevada has made a tremendous recovery since the recession, the scars are deep and still fresh. In the wake of the financial crisis, the CFPB was created to protect Americans from unfair, deceptive, or abusive practices that led to the financial crisis and to take action against companies that break the law. The CFPB has cracked down on predatory lenders and aggressive debt collectors and forced financial institutions to return over $11 billion, again, $11 billion to Americans who have been taken advantage of. Since 2011, the agency has been a resource for thousands of my constituents. More than 14,000 Nevadans have gone to the CFPB with complaints and over 3,400 of them about mortgages. It is appalling that Mr. Mulvaney and congressional Republicans are focused on destroying the CFPB at the expense of American families. When someone has an unwarranted overdraft, an incorrect credit score, or is misled by their bank, they turn to the CFPB for help. I will do everything I can to ensure the Nevadans never again have to experience the pain of being foreclosed on or being preyed upon by unscrupulous lenders. The cost to consumers is not only their livelihoods, but the future of our economy, because a strong economy includes a strong consumer.